Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to understand string immutability. Um, this is kind of uh, technical. Um, so basically what they're saying here is that in JavaScript, string values are immutable, which means they cannot be altered once created. So an example here is if you've got my string, they've got it to Bob, and then if they str they're saying, let, let, let us set the first character to be equal to J and make this so it says job. But that doesn't actually happen because the contents of the string cannot be altered. Um, if, if you look here, what they're trying to do is if we go um, uh, console.log uh, my string, if you look down here, you'll see nothing Nothing happens. That's because there's a, the, um, I think it's because there's an error going. So if you place it above, you'll see that it says Jello World. But then, um, yeah, I mean, you could do it in the in a console. You could say, um, if you set my string to be equal to Hello wor Jello World, um, you can say my string is equal to Jello World. Uh, so if you go my string at zero, you see it wants to say J, but if you set this to H, my guess is that this will feed back an error. And then my string is still equal to Jello World. So they, basically, what it's saying is that you can't um, you can't uh, reset the string by doing this. In a lot of other languages, you can. So this is kind of like programmer focused. Maybe somebody who has experience would think that this is something you could do with JavaScript, but you can't. And so therefore, this is a useful lesson. But the um, the way to adjust this is because you can't mutate the H uh, for the, in the initial sp place, what you do is you just reset the code to be uh, hello world. And uh, you don't need this fix me thing afterwards now. And so um, if we console log uh, my string, you'll see down here that it'll become hello world. And that's what the tests are requesting of us. So if we run the tests, they should pass. Hope this helps. See you in the next lesson.